Putin wants to capture Avdiivka until the presidential elections. The Russian occupiers have two main objectives in the capture of Avdiivka in the Donetsk region, political and military. According to RBC Ukraine, one of the Russian goals is unquestionably a military one. Avdiivka is one of the closest cities to Donetsk and is under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces, which poses challenges for the Russian occupiers. Essentially, the entire Donetsk region is an agglomeration where one city blends into another. Yasinovata, an important railway junction, is located near Avdiivka. Just five kilometers from the city is Donetsk airport and a bit further lies the occupied city of Horlivka. Therefore, by holding Avdiivka, the Ukrainian military can maintain control over several strategically important points and logistical hubs, notes Ukrainian military expert Pavlo Narozny. Avdiivka is like an appendix in the enemy's defense. It juts deep into the territory for about 10 kilometers. This is a precarious situation for the enemy. The shorter the front line, the better for them. They need to straighten the front line to ease the situation near Donetsk because it's very tense there, says Narozny to RBC Ukraine. The other goal is political. Firstly, elections are approaching in Russia and the current president, Vladimir Putin, wants to sell his personal victory to the Russian people. Bakhmut, captured by the Wagner Group, doesn't fit this role well due to conflicts between the Ministry of Defense and the former leader of the Wagner, Yevgeny Prigozhin. However, Russia's defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, and accordingly, Putin, needs to showcase their achievements. Andiivka, as odd as it may seem in the context of last year's ambition, is a suitable choice today, says military expert Petro Chernik. Putin should enter the elections with the result that he has achieved his goals in the Russian Federation. I don't believe in any uprisings of the Russian people, but for the elites, it's a sign of his incompetence. That's why they are storming Abdiivka. But from a military perspective, it's a suicide, the expert said.